Hey guys, well, it's little KO52 here with my new walkthrough. Why am I pressing load? Beautiful Joe, a game the uh for the GameCube. He will be doing all three characters. I will. Yes, you will. I guess I'll just start starting with kids. I'm not doing all the modes. I'll just do kids and be rated. Why not? I'll, shouldn't you do all of them? No, it's gonna take too long. Okay, show them the intro. I wanna see the intro. Yeah, I have to show the cutscenes. It's a walkthrough for crying out loud. I'm sorry if this sounds off. I like the voices. They might be off a little bit. I will be showing other characters. I won't be showing all three characters. I'll just be showing off their moves for now. I'll just show their moves. By the way, I'll tell you what's wrong with some characters. What's different from characters? Character, character. Okay. Shush. Wow, this sounds pretty close. I've never heard it this close, to be honest. Nope. I'm sorry guys, once the sound ends, I'm gonna stop it because it's just gonna be basically the same thing. It's just gonna... Sorry guys, it's basically done here. Joe. Why? It's basically done. Okay, first episode, Joe the Hero. Man, you skipped it out on the good part. It's all done. What's the Z button? Z button, I don't know why. Never mind. I think it's the I think it's Z. Z. Not Z, I tested X. It. And that's the kick. And I tested the X button, that's the punch. I know. Oh, Z was Y, or S. Here you go, first tutorial. I saw that one coming. What loose go? Who, what loose go? I wish I could do that, just pause in the air. And then you punch, kick. I think it's a bit too loud on here. No, I think it's fine. I'll turn it up a bit then. Beautiful Joe. Seven ch seven episodes. Not too long of a game. Pretty good game. Yeah. Just saying that, knowing that how long it is, or how long it'll be on Ultra B rated. By the way, I'm already doing that. It's it's crap. If I'm on if I'm on the last chapter, imagine the final boss. 
That's gonna suck. That's that's just annoying. Okay. So when you heard Sylvia's voice, I just go for it. Yes, we know. She tries to voice her sometimes. Well, I'm good at it. Don't do it. Please don't. Well, okay. Well, guys, you just might as well just kill these enemies because then gonna end up having to die. Okay, I guess right now is about the time where I should tell the differences between each and every character. Joe, as you can see I'm playing as, is more has is more strong. It more strength. Has more strength than any than the characters that than the first two characters. In the First few characters. Sylvia is is weak. She has low defense. By that I mean by she takes double damage, and it also means that. She, but but having having to take double damage and being weak gives her the ability of running fast. That's the only advantage of being Sylvia. <laughs> And then you have Alistair. Okay, so he can he, he he's basically Joe except once you're on the B watch, you'll see. Just go for it. Shush. Yeah. I thought we were doing a walkthrough, not uh hear Kiri fail. It's me uh, doing Sylvia's voice. Well, I actually don't feel. I actually sound pretty good. Anyways. That's the, the reason why Curry got a beautiful is because he's played this game before and beaten it. Yeah, on kids mode. In other words, this game, this game in kids mode is nothing. And that's why he has that many beautifuls. One thousand nine hundred eighty-two. No, that's not a lie. That's basically mo beautifuls are money in this game. I know that. I'm telling the. Also, this boss, if you, no matter how much health you lose, you'll it'll never let you die. Even if you're down to your last heart and you get hit, you won't die. That's why Kirk keeps on getting beautiful. No. Okay, the difference between I don't care about that one. So here's slow mo. And that ballet dancer just got dizzy. When about when an enemy gets dizzy, that means that that's the time where you start attacking in slow. See? You can uppercut. You can kick. You should tell him how to do that. Well, you kick, if I'm correct, you press these X button maybe? On the GameCube, but we're just playing this for PC. And then you can go just punch. You can't do really anything when you first start the game, but later on as you play, it gets better. Also, once you turn beautiful, you can double jump. I love that ability. Also, once you do that, if you saw in the tutorial, you can hit other enemies. And as you see, the VFX meter here has a limit of whenever it's blue, but if it goes down all the way, that means that you've used all of its power, and then you have to turn normal. And wait for it to charge back up. Whenever you're slow, also, you hit a block or something that won't, do uh, won't get destroyed at, nor at normal punch. That's when you use slow to hit it, and it will break on the first hit. And as you see uh, on Villaincasters, I'm at 40 out of 50. Or now, I got 50. So as you see, my VFX meter went up. That means that I have more VFX, so I can use my power more. And then this guy is the Joker. Just go for mine. But you shush! I'm doing a walkthrough, not to see how good you can voice Sylvia. Thank you. Also, this guy, he won't. it won't really show you... Where he's going to attack at. You have to figure that out yourself.
Okay, now the difference between Alistair and the other characters, he's basically Joe, except that his his VFX, how he uses his VFX, is slightly different. If you press the Z button, which in my version, you have to press S, it's set, you turn into Alistair, the stylus Alistair, then once you let go, and once you press it again, he turned back to normal. Oh. And as you see there, it says to use slow. Oh, I thought it was common to use slow. <laughs> that wouldn't sound that fun. But still, guys. After this, Alistair, he can fly. But if you use him on beautiful form, and if you hold the, and if you do, if you jump at all, he'll fly down. He'll just fly down. Okay, now that we've talked about some important things, and then there's Captain Blue, which you shouldn't even worry about. I don't even have, I don't even have him unlocked, and I've almost got him. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes it goes all weird. Now, it makes no weird sounds. Cut? You press down in the punch button. You kick, you press the kick button, I guess. I don't know what buttons they are in the actual thing. And that's an example of getting hit. Since this is the first part to the to this game, Kurt's gonna be doing more than just one. Yeah. And then if you do that, you can dodge an attack. That's when you use some of your VFX to dodge attacks. And that's an example of cheeseburger. If you get hit, cheeseburgers can help you heal. Dang it. On my last video, I forgot to say comment, like, subscribe. Whatever. Not. It's fine. Also, guys, I'm sorry if I'm overloading you on facts that you have to know by here at this point in the game. But after all, this is the first part. So what are you expecting? And on walkthroughs, you have to be very informational, especially on the first parts. Oh yeah, I forgot it can't run yet and slow. That's the downside when you first start the game and you use slow. You can't run. You'll learn more of that more of that later. The later in the game. I then have this book, this book thing. You have to punch it over. Just, all you have to do is punch it. There's no special technique. And then you press the X button to skip cutscenes. You press the space. You press the A button to jump as you would in any game. Well, that's I'm used to anyway. It's really curious. Shush. I'm doing a walkthrough. Finally. You didn't get a beautiful. I'm gonna get it beautiful twice, but still, that's because apparently I'm missing some things. But anyway, let's talk. I'm gonna go tell you that this is how you get certain characters unlocked. To get Sylvia, you, to get Sylvia unlocked, aka his girlfriend, girlfriend, you have to beat the game in adults mode. Which, if you're playing kids mode, you might as well just stop playing and start a new file. To get Alistair, you have to beat it in B rated mode, which you get unlocked right after you beat adults. I think I'm gonna fall off this platform. Oh, good. <coughs> okay. And then you have Captain Blue, and that's the hardest one, where you have to get past Ultra B rated mode. Doesn't sound hard, but it is. Ultra B rated mode is B rated. Except you take four damage if you're Joe, Alistair, or Alistair at this point in the game. You would have him, not Captain Blue yet. And then once you play Ultra V rated, you wouldn't be able to see where they're going to attack. And sorry about this video if it's a bit long, but every video is going to be an act or two acts long. I can't, I can't make it like a whole episode. Maybe I have to for one episode though. For one part. Maybe you might have to make this video an episode long. 
Oh, I mean, longer than that. What the? How did he get in here? He was in the other room. Also, you'll learn moves that are kill or that kills things in one hit. Hey, what? Get back here! So the ink. He can't just run like that. He just ran from me. It's like he was scared of me or something. You can run with that gun. I'm like, I don't know. Enemies can't run. Also, this part you actually have to beat all the enemies to. Get the key, as you see in the bottom bottom right corner of the screen. It shows your mission of what you have to get and all that stuff. After you get that, then Sylvia would say finish, and then you would get your score on some of them. Wait, what am I doing? I have to defeat these enemies. In Ultra B rated mode, these enemies are... Annoying because then you won't know where they're going to attack. You don't really know much moves, to be honest with you here. You only know punch, kick, slow, and uppercut. You no, know, I wish I can just, you know, just what? stay in here like Joe can for like a few seconds. Like you can stay in the air for more than a second. You can stay in the air for like two seconds. You know, like, you know, just pause in the air. Like, I don't up, think that's a button. Like, hold, and I don't think you can just do that and just hold it. But you don't stay up there forever. Like, you can't duck, because, well, you're ducking. Where'd the key go? There it is. I don't know if I should show walk through the second game, the sequel to this. But I'll think about it as I play through the game. That that woman's naked. Talk about talk about children playing this game. Which kind of beautiful what you didn't get? A rainbow beautiful. Rainbow bee. Alright, I'm gonna be trying to walk through also. But they're not really walkers, so they're just gameplays. Yeah, quick gameplay. She's just going to be showing quick gameplays of games that take about 10 minutes to beat. Well, the last video, well, the video that's uploading right now, it may be finished right now. It should be finished. It's only 6 minutes. Exactly. Because I'm going to, there are many different sites you can play the game on. Websites. Okay, you might want to kick these bullets. Yeah, the the helicopter always seems hard to me. I always have to have somebody else be there for me. Cause I just like me, even though I know how easy it is. Especially if you be in the game and you're playing through it again. See, like in the next mode. And no, I'm not showing every single mode. Have you should, because. They're going to show like. If we go off there. Here, a complete walkthrough doesn't need every mode. I'll show every character what they can do by moves. The main place you want to hit this, it's on its fan parts. So, when's the part where you can paint? After you beat every act. Which I'm almost done. So, the health captures the end of the first act? Yep. Every act will usually have some kind of special ending. For example, this act has a helicopter ending. Well, every act that is except for act 2, because then you're getting ready for a boss act. But the downside is for boss acts, you can't save. Like you can in the sequel. To the game, which is obviously Beautiful Joe 2. What else would it be? Oh, oh, wait, no! I just realized something. Why didn't I do this? There's enemies. Sorry. It's fun. You know, I like it the most when the guy says, Cock, cock, cock. Okay, got. Uh, also, this is the best way to take out the helicopter. Use its own enemies to, to make it take a lot of damage. 
Oh, I didn't get all the film casters. Okay, I got them all. Give me a B because I didn't get them all before. I love how I'm up there and then you just go suddenly running down. And how does he even fit in there? Okay, I'm gonna save it here. Well, actually, first I'm gonna go get some things in the power up store before I go save. And, and he, he, okay. I will, not yet though. Okay, guys, first things first. What you want to get first is Red Hot Kick. It may seem overrated, but once you get into the game, it's going to be really useful. Especially when you're fighting the last boss to the final. Okay. Well, guys, I'll be saving it here. My old data 10. As you see, my brother's doing a walkthrough of Alistair. He isn't actually he's not walk doing I know, he's actually playing the game as Alistair, but he isn't doing a walkthrough per se. But you get the point. Okay guys. I I guess this is about time to end the video. So guys and thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, download. Not download. I can download videos. Like like favorites and favorite or favorites. Bye guys, Lokale fifty two here. Till next time. Till next episode. Peace.